This is San Diego News Daily. Hey there, I'm Stephen Luke. Let's get right to the top local story of the day. Again, it's winter weather. That storm making its way through our county as we speak. It brought wind, it brought rain, it's bringing snow to the mountains and cooler temperatures as well. NBC 7's meteorologist Sheena Parveen with a closer look at how it's looking right now. Hi, Sheena. Hey, Stephen. We still have some rain, but we definitely have mountain snow. Still very windy outside, too. So here's a look at the radar. This is the big winter storm. It's now moved through our entire county and still moving through. And the snow levels in the mountains are continuing to drop. There you see the snow, Julian Pine Valley around the eight near Pine Valley. So that's how you know those snow levels are really low. They're right around 3,500 feet mostly, but we could see levels dropping to around 2,500 feet. There's our first alert Doppler 7 our NBC radar sweeping around and now we're looking at some rain East County, mostly around Tamul. And then as we get into the South Bay around Tula Vista, Imperial Beach, some light rain parts of the county, though, seeing a big break here. North County finally getting a break from the rain uh, for the coast for many areas inland. But even though we do have still some scattered light showers around Valley Center, uh, we're not seeing nearly as much rain as we had earlier today. So now we're just dealing with cloudy skies for much of the coast and very gusty onshore winds. Still winds are gusting near 30 miles per hour for the coast inland valleys. It's going to stay windy through the afternoon. Mountains are seeing very high wind gusts. I would say over 40 miles per hour could still see gusts near about 70. Possibly those would be pretty isolated. Here's future weather. We head through the afternoon. We cannot rule out a few more showers moving through through the afternoon. Still going to be very windy. Mountains will still be seeing snow. Finally tonight we start to dry out. So as we head through the overnight hours, we're going to start to dry out a lot more and the winds will start to calm down a little bit more too into tomorrow morning. It is going to be very cold around freezing inland so far, though we've had over an inch of rain for parts of the county, Stephen. All right, Sheena, because of this winter storm, several thousand students in our mountain communities are spending the day at home instead of in class. As NBC 7's Audra Stafford explains, the rain, the snow and the wind have forced a mul multiple number of them, five actually school districts to close. Pine Valley Elementary School here behind me is one of many closed today because of this weather. It's pretty miserable out here. You can see there's snow on the ground. The rain is falling. It's even fogging up our camera lens and they don't want parents or buses to have to go out in these conditions to get kids to class. Try as they might, the snowplows are facing an uphill battle right now. And when you mix the rain and snow with high winds, it creates a dangerous combination. The safety part is real. The safety part is real. Which is why Mountain Empire Unified School District Superintendent Patrick Keeley says they made the difficult decision to close their schools again today. Keeley says they usually build in about five inclement weather days each school year. They set aside seven this year, but when you add in the days for the strong Santa Ana winds last fall, they've already hit 12. Snow related, I want to say this is probably our sixth which is pretty unusual. Um, today was kind of a combination of the snow and the wind. Several other districts have also had multiple days of cancellations due to the weather. Today, schools in the Julian Union, Julian Union High School, Spencer Valley and Warner Unified districts are all closed as well. And Spencer Valley superintendent tells me they've also exceeded their planned snow days. From Pine Valley, I'm Audra Stafford, NBC7. These superintendents for the Mountain Empire and Spencer Valley districts say they're going to have to request a waiver from the state for those additional days, but it's too soon to know how many they're going to need. The price of natural gas continuing to fall. That's good news for you. San Diego Gas and Electric says the price is less than half of what it was just a couple months ago in January. sdg &E says the price drop is driven in part by an out of state pipeline that's coming back online. Yeah, you'll recall in January, an average customer's gas bill jumped all the way up to $225. Now the utility company says the average bill will be closer to 85 bucks. That's also less than January of last year when the average bill was just over $100. Today, there is a major focus on mental health, and Mayor Todd Gloria is joining state legislators in Sacramento to announce a bill that hopes to modernize the state's mental health system. One focus? changing the definition of grave disability to include mental health. The mayor is representing a bipartisan coalition of mayors from the state's largest 13 cities. Police have a warning for you, and uh, it involves burglars who are on the prowl. We'll have the latest for you. And also, Marines have a new friend. Yeah, we'll introduce you to the latest mascot. 
you can get a weather report anywhere. But an accurate forecast, that's another story. Only one team in San Diego is certified the most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan your day with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast of the changing temperatures. And knowing the exact time when rain will move into your neighborhood so you can prepare. The team using the technology to deliver the most accurate forecast. NBC7's First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. This is San Diego News Daily. Hey there, I'm Stephen Luke. Welcome back. Let's get straight to San Diego's most accurate forecast. Here's Sheena. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. The winter storm still moving through. We have snow in the mountain. Snow levels are continuing to drop. They'll go down to around 2,500 feet. So there you see it all right near the Eight Pine Valley. That's causing some issues on the roads, low visibility. There's our first alert Doppler 7, our NBC radar sweeping around, showing us light to moderate rain in the South Bay, but mostly it's uh, on its way out. But we do still have some areas seeing that rain. We're still going to have a chance for a couple showers through the afternoon. It's going to stay very windy. Right now we have onshore winds gusting near 30 miles an hour and higher. So a few showers left over for the afternoon for the coast and inland valley. So you might notice some more moving through. It's going to stay windy for the rest of today. Mountains will continue to see that snow overnight. Everything will dry out. Skies will clear and it will get cold. Winds will lighten up too. We'll be in the upper 30s of the coast overnight by tomorrow morning and around freezing inland with areas of frost. It's going to be a very cold start tomorrow, but tomorrow will be dry and sunny all the way into the weekend, looking at good weather even for the mountains and the deserts. Well, after what appears to be a six month hiatus, burglars are targeting again some of the wealthiest communities around San Diego County. They are back on the prowl. Police currently investigating 21 different burglaries reported since December. You may recall back in January of last year, NBC7 first told you about a group of Chilean nationals entering the U.S. on 90 day visas, then using the opportunity to steal from several North County homes. Those crimes linked to dozens across California. The burglars now avoiding security cameras using canyons for cover and entering homes through back doors. There are a lot of similarities to it, so it is possible that it's the same crew. Um, it's very also possible um, that we have a lot of copycats going on. They are upping their game. They're getting smarter as how they're acting and what they're doing, um, which is sort of giving them an advantage as we are trying to adapt to what uh, they're doing. Police want you to stay vigilant, make sure to use alarms and cameras and ask your neighbors to keep a close eye on your home while you're gone as well. The search is on for two teenage boys suspected of going on a vandalism spree. This is in Ramona. This happened back on February 9th and 10th. The teens accused of vandalizing several locations, including Ramona High School, two elementary schools, a boys and girls club, a bike shop, and the Ramona Municipal Water District. The suspect seen driving away in a red truck. If they look familiar, if you know who they might be, the Sheriff's Department wants to hear from you. We will have more of your top local headlines right after this. Only one team in San Diego is certified most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan ahead with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And knowing exactly when rain will move in. First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. Well, as we inch closer to spring break, TripAdvisor is now releasing their list of best beaches and Several San Diego and Southern California beaches made the list. All right, here it is. Coronado Beach coming in at number eight in the U.S. La Jolla Cove, not too far behind, taking the number 10 spot and traveling further up the coast into Los Angeles. Santa Monica State Beach ranks 25th on that list. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot welcoming its newest recruit with four legs. There he is. This is a bulldog named Bruno. So Bruno is undergoing training right now to become their new mascot, although he's sitting there very nicely trained. It looks like the four month old English bulldog named after Major General Bruno Hockmuth, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed during the Vietnam War. Major General Hockmuth was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. Great dog right there who's a uh, <laughs> Entertaining the troops, you could say. More coverage count on at NBCSanDiego.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.